one month into Herm getting on, on the job, there's a lot of public pressure to recruit Brock Purdy. He gets together with Al Luganbill, who I don't think was officially on staff at that time, but was in charge of really building up what ASU's roster was going to look like because Herm had been out of college football for 30 years. Yeah. And they look at his film and they're like, not for us. Walk on, maybe. He, he didn't have any Power 5 stuff yet, so let's go offer him a walk on. He was not the one to be delivering that offer, by the way. Mm. That was Dan, Donnie Yantis, the uh, recruiting coordinator at the time, tight ends coach. And then Brock Purdy blows up. Herm doesn't get to claim any credit no. for knowing that he was going to be this great player when he took one look at his film and he said, that's not worth a scholarship and only presented the idea of a scholarship under under public pressure. Like yeah. there, there's nothing honorable. There's not, no foresight here. Um, Herm Edwards forgotten more football than I'll ever know, but he definitely forgot something here.